of the world stage, prepare to witness the most mind-bending act of movie riffing ever attempted. <gasps> it's gone by really quickly. Uh, Jonah, were you even alive then? How old were you? And I was alive. Years, I, I was years six old? years old when the show premiered. Six years old. I think I might have been around 11 years old <laughs> when I saw it. Oh, Perfect for, for harvesting. Your yes, soul exactly. was right. That's where Joel and his uh, ideas imprinted onto me. Mm -hmm. What he did is like he planted seeds around the country for little comedy dorks like me. And I made you like me. Yes, yeah. Because uh, normally you wouldn't, we wouldn't be friends. Yeah, but when I finally bloomed from the seedling that he planted, I was the only one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the tour, there's a ton of, there's a ton of me's out there. Uh, you know, a lot of people my age, uh, uh, I mean, they have kids. Uh, there, there's a difference there, but that's what's kind of neat. Is like uh, people my age that have kids are showing their kids the new show, and then you know their their kids are into my season. Like you know, so that's kind of neat to see. Well, I feel my whole purpose coming onto this show was that I was finally able to unite Team Mike and Team Joel with a common enemy, that's <laughs> and that right. was me. That's right. We've got to eradicate you. Yeah, 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 exactly. We're just so lucky because everybody who works on the show now were fans of the show. They were those 13-year-olds. Or Were you 11, did you say? Well, you? I probably, 11 I, I don't or know 12. for sure, yeah. But it's like everybody who's on stage tonight doing the live tour, everybody who's on camera in the show, and, of course, our creative team writers and producers and all that were all uh, 11 and 12 years old when we started. So I didn't really get that was happening. I guess I always thought MST was like for college kids or something, but it was really a generation younger that were really liking it. So now they're like kind of grown up and yeah. and talented and influential and they're helping us. There are a surprising number of kids and they'll be dressed up and they'll be into it. The show isn't for kids, it's for everybody. And yeah, so that true. means kids can yeah. watch it. I think it's TV for 14 we call it yeah. so the kids have to be with an adult basically sure. we don't cotton the kids just walking in wow there's a fair amount of them i've seen a lot of them posted online and social media more than anything but occasionally i'll meet someone and i mean the weirdest thing for me is and it, this didn't dawn on me while it was happening but people will have me sign their wrist or their you know their collarbone or something and then i'll see i guess i'll see the same person two years later and they made it into a tattoo so that happens occasionally that kind of catches me off guard i was always pretty close to getting a mystery science theater tattoo but i was always i was always torn whether i wanted to do the logo you know the moon logo or the silhouettes but i did a friend of mine she had the silhouettes around her uh, wrist and I, I thought that was a pretty good one to do when the show came out i realized i can't wear it anymore because it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know if any of the guys in Metallica have Metallica tattoos, but they do seem like if anyone, they would be the kind of person <laughs> that would do it. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird feeling. Where, I mean, I guess I have a hoodie that's from our tour. Yeah. I guess I got that. But yeah, than, the hoodie also says, ask me about my TV show. Yeah, it's all over the back of yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't so cost prohibitive, I would probably get everybody, yeah, uh, yeah denim jackets. We, that would be great. And just, no, more denim vests. That's what we should do. We should all start wearing denim vests so we roll into a truck stop one night. Yeah, they wouldn't pick on us anymore. That would be when they, <laughs> that's when they would kick it into high gear, probably. We look like Dexie's Midnight Runners. I think so, yeah. yeah. We should take a moment to pour out a little for those who didn't make it. Come on, man, yeah, let okay. it flow. Okay. We'll tell you when. 